and accelerates and accelerates. It keeps doing that until finally everything which is infinitely possible all occurs at exactly the same moment. Which is the truth in the first place. But our consciousness is not up to that speed. Just like all the natural laws that we have developed, including the law of flight, it was not possible until our consciousness was up to speed. Now we can look back and say, huh, it was always possible. We just couldn't do it. These are the kind of challenges that we have in front of us. October 28th is the end of the Mayan calendar because all considerations of limitation on the part of time and space will be gone. So there's no more need for a calendar to keep track of the motion. And your consciousness will not be fixed on physical. It will be infinitely free to creation. That's a long ways away, ain't it? It is in consciousness, but not in time. Which is a, a real conundrum. We're going to get a galactic consciousness really quick. Have you guys been keeping track of the uh, of how many new planets they're finding around other suns in our galaxy? They're finding hundreds of them now. I know you guys know that like just 10 years ago, people wondered if they'd ever find planets that could support life outside of Earth. And now they're finding hundreds of planets around other suns. We are gaining a galactic consciousness. It actually started January 1999. That means, well, we also, we already have a planetary consciousness right now, right? It was developed from 1755 all the way up until 1992, which is when the internet went up. And we got, really fast, a planetary consciousness. We're not kidding around here. We really will have a galactic consciousness. We are going to meet the neighbors. <laughs> Just as soon as we get over this power trip. And become ethical. Can you see us going out into the galaxy right now? Yeah, Earth number one, yeah! We'll kick your butt! We're not ready. We got some dues to pay before that time. Now, what I wanted to do is I want to go through the 1 through 13 more in detail so you guys can see the, the progression of this of these stages or this evolution. Now, this is the first day, the first day of the 1 through 13. And what it's about is initiation. It's about beginnings. And this right here, I'll draw it a little darker. That's a seed, the seed of an idea, the seed of a culture. It's the source. Now, what the Maya, the Maya have gods for all these. Would you like to know the names of the gods of these 13?
The first one is the god of procreation. This is where stuff starts. Now, this is where, in 820 million years ago, during this period, is when multicellular animals started. It's also when monkeys showed up in their cycle. It's where, the, where uh, Homo habilis showed up. It's where the uh, finite kingdom showed up. And it's also where the theory of the telegraph showed up. Right here, beginnings of things happened during this period of time. Here, during the first night, well, it's like, like this. It's a night time, but the seed is in the ground, and it germinates. This right here, is when consciousness is activated. It's conceived here, but it's activated there. Just like a seed, you can have it in your hand, but once it's in the ground and it's germinating, it's activated. And it begins to per perform a, a life form. This right here started January 5th, 1999. Now there was something started in our consciousness right then, wasn't there? Remember Y2K? What was the lesson of Y2K? I heard be prepared out there. That's, that's very good. But what I got from it was that maybe our power systems weren't all that trustworthy. Maybe all of this way that we're doing life isn't all that real in the first place. Because it could have all disappeared in the blink of an eye. It did not. But that wasn't the important part. What was important was that there was a consciousness planted. A consciousness that really, when it came down to it, your consciousness is what counts. And your ability to handle change is what counts. Whether you took it seriously or not, the threat. The whole idea was that you were going to be more personally responsible and not the systems. Here, this was the year 2000. This is 1999. And until until the end of 2000. Then this one went from 2000 to the end of 2001. Here is the activation of that consciousness. In other words, if you had a plan for survival, remember 2000 after it didn't happen, didn't you still keep a hold of some of that, that, those plans or that viewpoint? You didn't go, oh, that was nothing to worry about. You still had more consciousness of our systems and of change. As a matter of fact, many, many people right during this period of time realized that more is possible. In fact, Everything is possible. And that led right up to 9-11. Everything is possible. What was considered unthinkable and impossible occurred in front of the whole world. It's impossible that America be attacked through its defense systems, especially our Pentagon. It's impossible. And yet it was demonstrated right there. Anything is possible. 
during the second day, what we have right here is a sprout. When the seed comes up through the ground, it goes boink, boink, and displays polarity. Right and left, good and bad, terrorist and patriot. It displays it big and wide. Isn't that what just happened? This was in uh, December of 2001, this started. And here we are in 2002. Let's do a few on there. <clears throat> During this period of time in history, there have been conflicts, big ones. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, there have been, uh, it's during, during, excuse me, it's during this one right here, which is 2002, which we're now in, 2003. This right here is the display of polarity. This is when you actually have connection. They come to blows. Civilizations and societies come to blows during this. This was the French-Indian War, for instance, during that cycle. Here, in this third day, what we have... and it's the god of sunrise. This is wind. This is the god of dance during that period. Here we have the anchoring of the truth. The anchoring of the truth. The God is of water. This date right here is December 14th of 2003. Excuse me, 2002. 14th of December. Backwards. Yep, like that. One, two. So, <clears throat> this third day is very special. During the third day of each one of these big cycles, the first third day of the mammalian cycle was the Cambrian explosion. That's the biggest explosion of life on this planet that's ever existed. We started going from little tiny plants to seaweed and kelp all the way up to anemones, 